Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of installation videos. In this installment, we will be installing both an ATA and SATA hard drive in a PowerMac G4 Quicksilver model. We have already powered down, unplugged, and placed our PowerMac G4 in a static-free workspace. We are ready to begin. To open the PowerMac G4, lift up on the handle on the side and lower the door. The hard drive bays are located in this area. We will first install the standard ATA hard drive. Our new ATA hard drive will be installed in the dual hard drive bay tray. To remove the tray, first unplug the data cable by pulling it gently out of the hard drive and setting it aside. Now unplug the power cable from the ATA hard drive and set aside. The drive tray is held in place by a single Phillips screw. Remove this screw and pull the entire hard drive bay out of the Macintosh. To prepare our new ATA drive, we must change the jumper settings to Slave. Refer to the schematic on your hard drive for correct pin placement. Now place the ATA hard drive in the drive bay so that both the hard drive connectors are facing in the same direction. On the solid side of the drive bay, attach the hard drive to the bay with two Phillips screws. On the other side of the drive bay, you will see that the holes do not appear to line up correctly. However, after installing both Phillips screws, you will see that the hard drive bay has bowed out slightly. This is normal. To reinstall the drive bays with both hard drives, line up the two slots on the Macintosh with the two tabs underneath the drive bay. Slide the tabs into the slots and reattach the Phillips screw to secure it in place. Now connect the ribbon cable to both hard drives as well as the two power cables. There are two more drive bays in the Power Macintosh G4 Quicksilver that were originally designed for SCSI hard drives. Because we have installed a SATA controlled PCI card in our Power Macintosh G4, we will be using this bay to install a SATA hard drive instead. Push the cables out of the way, then remove this Phillips screw. Now pull the drive bay out of the Macintosh. Set the new SATA hard drive down so that the connectors are facing away from you and the bottom of the hard drive is facing up. Now take the drive bay plate and position it so that the four recessed holes are facing down and the mounting hole is facing the SATA connector. Attach four Phillips screws to secure the bay plate to the hard drive. To install our new SATA hard drive, line up the tabs on the bay plate with the slots in the Macintosh and slide it into place. Now replace the Phillips screw here. You will need a Molex to SATA power cable adapter, which you can purchase at MacSales.com. Attach the two Molex ends together and attach the SATA power adapter to the hard drive. Now connect the SATA data cable to the hard drive on one end and the SATA controller card on the other. We have installation videos on how to install a SATA controller card online at www.maxsales.com. 
To close the Power Macintosh G4, lift the side panel until it locks into place. 